A ship loading from a tropical location can carry more cargo in the scorching summers compared to the one on a voyage in northwest Atlantic, focus on Iceland and Greenland, in winters. Wonder why? Let's figure out why ships load more in the summer. For the shipping industry, it's all about profits. And summer has always been the favorite season of the industry, as it offers favorable weather conditions to sail. The seas are calmer, and storms are less frequent, allowing for smoother and safer sailing. Ships regularly carry more and precious cargo shipments. That's not all. Shipping industry uses a very common term, draft restrictions. The draft of a ship refers to the depth to which it is submerged in the water. The more heavily a vessel is loaded, the deeper it sinks into the water, and the greater its draft. In many cases, navigation channels and ports have specific depth restrictions to ensure safe passage for vessels. During the summer, when there is typically more rainfall and runoff, the water levels in rivers, canals, and ports tend to be higher. This allows ships to have a greater draft. During the winters, lower water levels in these waterways can limit the draft and thus reduce the carrying capacity. Additionally, seasonal demand can influence the amount of cargo a ship carries. Certain industries, such as agriculture, might have increased production and exports during the summer months, which could result in ships being loaded to their full capacity during that season. While winter is generally not a prime growing season in many regions, leading to a decrease in agricultural activity. The transportation of agricultural goods could be less in demand during winter, thus reducing the cargo loaded onto the ships. Lastly, let's not forget the ice conditions of winters. In many regions, waterways can freeze during the winter months, thus obstructing navigation and limiting movement of ships. These adverse weather conditions can lead to port closures, delays, and increased navigational challenges that restrict the loading and unloading of cargo. It is also important to take note of the Load Line Convention, which is an international treaty that sets regulations for determining maximum allowable draft for ships based on various factors. The goal is to maintain adequate stability, buoyancy, and safety against the risk of capsizing or sinking due to overloading. The world's oceans are divided into different seasonal zones, and load line requirements vary based on these zones. Factors such as wave height, sea temperature, and seasonal variations are taken into account to determine the appropriate load line markings for each zone. Thus, on the basis of these load lines, a vessel sailing in winter in the North Atlantic Ocean will have a greater freeboard than on a voyage in tropical zones and freshwaters. So the next time you see a massive cargo ship sailing by, you'll know why they're packed to the brim in the summer sun. If you found this video as intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more riveting maritime content.